So let's get started. So what you need to do is you just need to go at the top bar and then just click on go and then select airdrop from here. So just select airdrop from here, which is going to open this airdrop window. Now in here, in order to use airdrop, you need to turn on your Bluetooth. So this option is here. So you just need to click on turn on Bluetooth, which is going to turn on your Bluetooth, right? Now here, once you uh, turn on your Bluetooth, you will see this message which says allow me to discover by right now, no one is selected. So you can just click on this uh, drop down menu and you can select contacts only or everyone. For now, I'm going to select everyone for, from here, which will allow this MacBook to uh, discover every uh, iPhone or Apple device, right? Now, in order to connect any iPhone or iPad or any other uh, Apple device, you just need to enable AirDrop on that device also. So you can see on the right hand side, I have my Apple screen. So I'm going to go to the settings in my Apple screen and then I'm going to go to the general section. So just click on general and then you will be able to see this airdrop option here. So I'm going to just press on airdrop. Right now, here also I can see receiving off. So I can just press on everyone, which is going to enable airdrop here. And also I need to turn on the Bluetooth here. So my Bluetooth is right now turned on. And once you do that, I can see my iPhone is discovered on my MacBook and now I can uh, transfer my photos or other files from my iPhone to my Mac operating system using AirDrop. So now let's say I want to uh, just share some picture from my MacBook to my iPhone. So I will just uh, select this picture from here and then I will just simply drag and drop here on the iPhone, which is going to transfer this picture on my iPhone. Let me minimize this and you will be able to see this accept uh, button here. So once you press on accept uh, button, then this file will be transferred on your iPhone. So this is how you can turn on AirDrop on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.